Thanks for joining us. Follow us on social media and read our blog posts for more visa and immigration tips. Everything you need to know about a Schengen Transit Visa. In this video, find out what you can and can't do with a Schengen Airport Transit Visa and a Schengen Seafarer Transit Visa and whether you need one on your travels. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. A Schengen Transit Visa is a permit that will allow nationals of non-Schengen countries to enter the international transit zone within the Schengen area. If you will be making a short stop in an airport or seaport within the Schengen area en route to a destination outside the Schengen zone, then you may need a transit visa. With a transit visa, you may make a stopover in the Schengen area and disembark the aircraft or vessel and stay for a certain time in the international transit zone without going through immigration control. If you want to visit the Schengen area for tourism, business, visiting family and friends, or other purposes, you will need to apply for another type of Schengen visa, depending on your purpose of travel. Check out our Schengen Visa Types playlist to find out the other types of Schengen visas. Traveling to the Schengen area amid coronavirus travel restrictions. Because of the coronavirus pandemic affecting everyone worldwide, there are travel restrictions, preventing travel for most travelers, in an effort to flatten the curve of the virus. These restrictions are updated regularly, so it is always best to check the travel restrictions, or upcoming travel restrictions, of the country you wish to visit, if you will be allowed to travel. The good news is that there are some exemptions to the ban, like the love contract, that many Schengen countries honor, in order to let partners reunite, as well as other ways around the ban. If you are unsure about whether you will be allowed to travel to the Schengen area right now, feel free to book a consultation with us, and we can check for you, based on your specific circumstances. Who needs to apply for a Schengen Transit Visa in the UK? If you are a UK citizen, remember that the rules on travel to Europe and the Schengen area have now changed due to Brexit. Luckily, UK citizens can still transit through the Schengen area visa-free if they have not exceeded the 90 over 180 days rule. Non-EU nationals Many non-EU nationals who reside in the UK are still required to get a Schengen visa to transit through the Schengen area. Each Schengen member state has its own rules regarding the Schengen transit visa. There are nationalities that need a transit visa when entering any of the Schengen member states, while some member states have added other nationalities that are required to get a transit visa when entering their country. And, with every rule, there are exemptions. People who belong to some categories are not required to get a Schengen Transit Visa, like those who have a short stay visa for a Schengen country, holders of a diplomatic passport, family members of EU, EEA, or Swiss citizens, and more. Check out the list of countries and the full list of exemptions in our blog post. Who needs a Seafarer's Schengen Transit Visa? You will need a Seafarer's Schengen Transit Visa if you are a third country national who needs to disembark because your contract ended due to sickness, repatriation, urgent family matters, 
or holiday. Embark on a vessel that is, or will be, in a Schengen seaport, or transfer from one vessel to another vessel, which is, or will dock, in a Schengen port. If you require a Schengen transit visa, and want to apply from the UK, the main requirement, is that you must have a UK residence permit, valid for at least another three more months, beyond the date you plan to leave the Schengen area. Before starting a visa application, or booking your trip, make sure to check whether you need a Schengen transit visa or not. If you have a three-month UK visa, you can extend it for three more months, in order to be eligible, to apply for a Schengen transit visa, from within the UK. You must apply for an extension before your visa expires, and while you're still in the UK. Steps to applying for a Schengen Transit Visa from the UK Step 1. Know your visa type and validity. Types of Schengen Transit Visas Airport Transit Schengen Visa A permit that is valid for 24 hours, and allows you to connect your flights at a Schengen airport. It enables you to stop, and wait, in the international transit area, of a Schengen airport, for your next flight, on the way to a non-Schengen country. Seafarer's Transit Schengen Visa A permit that is valid for a maximum of five days, and allows a seaman to disembark their vessel, while waiting for their next means of transport, to a non-Schengen country. A Schengen Transit Visa, is not valid when you need to transit through more than one airport within the Schengen area, and if you need to go outside the international transit area. If you have the intention to go beyond the international transit area, then you need to apply for another type of visa, depending on the purpose of your travel. You will also have to apply for a regular, short-term Schengen visa, if you need to leave the airport, where you land in first, to take a flight at another airport, within the same country. Step 2. Identify where to make the application, and book an appointment. Apply for a transit visa, at the embassy of the Schengen country, that you will be transiting through, in your home country. Book an interview, through the website of the consulate, or embassy, of the country you are planning to visit, in your country of residence. You can book your interview, six months before your trip at the earliest, and two weeks before your trip, at the latest. Step 3. Complete your application form. The Schengen Visa application form, contains questions about you, like your full name, date and place of birth, nationality, passport number, and others. Make sure your answers are correct, and that they comply with the information, in the rest of the documents. Complete the form, print it twice, and sign both copies at the end. The application form, is a crucial part of the application process. You need to make sure, you are filling in the correct details, to get the highest chance, of getting your application approved. Find out more, about how to complete a Schengen Visa application form, in our blog post. Step 4. Prepare your documents. What documents are required, when applying for a Schengen Transit Visa, in the UK? The difference between a Schengen Transit Visa, and other Schengen Visa types, lies in the requirements of the embassy, or consulate, where you will have to apply. There are some extra documents, that you will be required to submit, in order to be able to obtain a transit visa for Europe. The documents needed, for an airport transit Schengen visa are Your visa application form Your passport Two recent photos Proof to show you onward journey to the final destination, and Travel insurance the documents needed, for a seafarer's transit Schengen visa are 
your visa application form, your passport, two recent photos, copies of passport data pages, original and photocopy of Siemens book, invitation letter, and your employment contract. Find out more about these documents in our blog post. Step 5. Attend your appointment. The visa interview is a meeting between you and the consular officer or interviewer. During this interview, the consular officer will ask you several questions about you and your intended trip. You will also be submitting the required documents throughout the meeting to the interviewer. Show up at the appointment center on time. Remember that if you are late even for a few minutes, then they will probably cancel your appointment. You will also have to get your fingerprints scanned at the consulate's office if you have never before applied for a Schengen visa. After your application is verified, the data will be entered into the online system of the consulate or embassy and you will receive a printed copy of your application. This process usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. After you get the printed form, make sure to verify all the details are correct and sign the form. Underage applicants must be accompanied by their parent or legal guardian. Visa fees for UK residents. When applying for a Schengen visa, there is a non-refundable, mandatory, visa fee every applicant must pay. The Schengen visa costs vary, depending on the type of visa and age of the applicant, as well as some other exceptions. The Schengen visa fee can be paid in the designated consulate or embassy via cash, debit, or credit card. It's important to note that the fees are subject to change without notice and will not be reimbursed if your visa is rejected. Check out the Schengen visa fee chart in our blog post. Step 6. Receive your visa. How long can the application process take? Most applications for a Schengen Transit visa will be processed in around 10 working days, assuming you provide all the relevant information and there's no issue with your application. Visa Application Decision If your application is approved, it will be stamped on your passport. Make sure to carefully check the visa sticker to make sure everything is correct and exactly how you need it. If your visa has been rejected, it would have been for a specific reason. You will have the right to appeal. Your visa could be rejected for any number of reasons, which include Applying for the wrong visa If it is unclear that you plan to return to the UK Or if the consulate cannot establish the purpose of your trip You need to make sure that you submit a strong application so that you have the best chance of having it approved Find out some tips on how to avoid a visa rejection in our blog post. What if your Schengen Transit visa is rejected? If you receive a negative answer in your Schengen Transit visa application, this does not mean you cannot ever transit through the Schengen area. You have two options. File an appeal for a Schengen Transit visa rejection if you believe that the decision to deny you a visa is unjust. You should have a strong basis for your complaint. You can appeal this decision by writing an appeal letter for a Schengen Transit visa rejection. 
or you can reapply by correcting the mistakes you did in your previous application or improve your situation to comply with the eligibility criteria for a Schengen Transit Visa. Schengen Transit Visa Extension Short-stay Schengen Visa extensions are allowed under a few conditions. However, you will have a very low chance to get one if you do not have a strong reason as the basis of your application. According to the Schengen Visa Policy, acceptable reasons to extend a Schengen short-stay visa are only the following. Late entry. Humanitarian reasons. Force merger. And important personal reasons. If your basis for your extension falls on any of these reasons, you may be eligible to extend your visa. Find out how to extend your Schengen visa in our Schengen visa extension video. Do you have any questions about applying for a transit visa? We'd love to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below. I am can help with your visa application to the United States, the UK, and other countries. If you need help with a US visa, a UK visa, or visa to Europe, including help with appointment booking obligations, I am can help. For more information and advice on US immigration, UK immigration law, and US visa applications, or if you need any help or assistance, please reach out to your visa coordinator at IAM. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.